Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in the final station. If you haven't checked out the previous episode, it should be popping up on your screen right now. Into some spoilers for that previous episode. So we were at oil platform B-85 and the rail factory, which is where we're at right now. Uh, rail factory e 5k and we learned a little bit about some more pol politics going around with one of the richer families in our country and we figured out where our beautiful train the bellis 07 was built and that was built right here and there was some stuff going on with that uh, it was the only train ever built and we were we're kind of the test pilots for it during the second visitation so let's go ahead and punch our code in seven three five eight and continue on to our next stop. Things are getting pretty pretty dicey in here. Everyone's worried about the second visitation. We've learned some signs and some things uh, have happened. One of our fellow conductors kind of got himself in a sticky situation and probably died um, from, from something that happened. Let's check all these guys. Okay, he needs some food. Let's go get some food for our friend here. We got plenty of food. Is he wearing a mask? Good for him. Looks like he's wearing a mask. All right, so they're going to start needing some health packs here soon. Before we do that, let's see, or let's do some crafting. Let's go ahead and, oh, we can't craft any health packs. Let's craft ourselves two shotgun shells, and we'll make some pistol ammo as well. Next place is personnel station 02-T, station built to the order of a local citizen who chose to remain anonymous. Interesting. All right, let's grab this health pack here and see who we can fix up. Um, yep, he needs some health, definitely. Let's check this guy here. He's about half health. Um, and we need to fix our, I think it's just the brakes. Uh, shock, shock absorbers. Let's go ahead and fix those. There we go. Shock absorbers are fixed for an easier ride. Um, all right, we'll go grab our last med kit here. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on these two guys. So he is pretty low, and he'll be fine. All right, so we'll give this guy a few more seconds, and then we'll give him a med pack as he gets a little bit closer. Uh, I think old David easily can be replaced. So they're talking about the son that was running the, the rail factory there. It's a coincidence that those moronic blockers, oops, let's heal him up, uh, are made by the company owned by Thomas Smith's son. They were installed because of an accident at Exiler 5. Says our friend here. Those are rumors. They made up everything. 2,000 deceased are also made up. Anything could have happened there. All right, let's fix our shock absorbers again. And we'll fix this. And the train should be pulling into the station. So let's go ahead and run up and pull into the station. Oops, nope, not that. There we go. Oh, there's a nice uh, castle or church in the background as we pull into personnel station 02-T or whatever it is. Can't quite remember. Memory's getting old. They're getting bad in my old age. All right, so we got two, two rounds in our shotgun and two full clips for our pistol. Let's see what this station has to offer. Like what? Play snowballs? I've got a bottle stashed from yesterday. Oh, someone's going to get drunk. Uh, come see me today. Looks like they are burning some stuff. I'm not sure. Still in the nice cold area of the map. Uh, they have interns practicing at such stations where trains arrive once a year. The station is very weird, though. Uh, it was commissioned for an old man living in a mansion on top of the mountain. Oh, we just saw that. Remind you of anything? Maybe he drinks blood and sleeps in a coffin, too? I hope not. All right, so let's head up the mountain and see what we got going on here. Ooh, this is quite a bit of a climb. Okay, here's our house. Some pistol ammo, nice, another clip. And a couple other things from that body. Out the door, I wonder if that was like the caretaker's hut or something like that, because I would not call that a mansion. Oh, this is a caretaker's hut if I've ever seen one. Okay, nothing there. Still going up. We're getting to the tippy top here. Looks like we're almost to the crest. Here we go. All right, let's see what this mansion has. Ooh, very Dracula-like. Very Dracula-like. All right, now, I remember seeing that symbol in the very first episode when we wa walked in on that culty type thing. 
Yeah, all right, let's see what this says. One must still have chaos within oneself to give birth to a star. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go check the clock tower here. Smash out the window. All right, what do we got up here? Can we ring the bell? We can. Hopefully that doesn't mess us over, but I heard a door open. Heard a door open. Smash out some windows here. I wonder what door that opened. Uh, let's go down here. Um, even more creepiness. Got a key here. Some food. Okay, there's a hatch going down. Let's go out, or let's go up and check. Oh, we can't break that window with our fists. I'm not going to waste the bullet to break it. All right, grandfather clock. Let's pop our heads up here. All right, out onto the little snowy balcony. Nothing out here. Uh, Theodore, reg reg eh, regrettably enough, I shall decline. Even your position and personal connection with the council members cannot affect my decision, I am afraid. Do be informed that letter with your proposal was passed directly to the general prosecutor. My hopes are that he will not spare you. The investigators will arrive prepared to welcome him, Martin. All right, still nothing yet. I'm jinxing that myself. I have a feeling. Smash that window. All right, a little more shotgun ammo. Let's head back over here and just check this door. There's got to be, oops. All right, we can loot that. A book here, reports, prohibition of vivisection by P.D. Rijung, Rijung. Okay, let's head back this way. If you guys don't know what vivisection is, it's kind of weird. I do not recommend looking it up. Just leave it at that. Um, I got a punch through this wall. All right, let's charge up the punch. Oh, very Dr. Evilly of them. I'm, they could probably uh, drop the chairs and, you know, the members would fall through. Oh, all the chairs are wired. Yep. And then they would just fall right in. Very Dr. Evil of them. All right. Ooh, and there's some, uh, some friends down here for us to play with. Let's switch over to our shotgun. All right, little guy, move. And down they go. Here's the vivisection tables, I'm assuming. All right, and we'll punch this guy out. Dropped him, very nice. There's our blocker code. Pick up that. All right, so we might have to run back up there in a second. Ooh, another one. That, that one had some long hair or something on it. Okay, drop those guys. So we're gonna have to probably backtrack here in a second. Nope, maybe not. All right, let's open this. Let's see what we got down here. A rat. I don't know what's below there, but that's kind of scary. What's that say? All the sky. Or call the sky. Call the sky. All right. Let's loot him. Some rags and screws. We're going to switch over to our pistol before we go down in whatever this scary pit is. Wish I could see what I'm getting myself into. Oop, even farther down. Open this door. There's some wiring or something going in here. Okay, so that must be the blood dripping through here for our friend here to have himself a drink. Is this Martin? It didn't work. You can't even understand me. It didn't work. All right, you're not coming on our train, so let's, can I punch him? Nope. Okay. Well, that was, that's just weird, guys. That's, that's super weird. All right. Anyways, let's get out of here before he tries to drink our blood. Up we go, up we go. Um, let's head back. Uh, let's head back this way. All right, so we got a little guy, more vivisections, and a helmet friend. Let's punch his helmet off, go down the ladder. Ugh. All right, um, we have no med packs. All right, nice. Let's go that way, see if we can get on top of them that way. Okay, we're probably gonna die here. Oops, all right, we can punch these guys out. Okay, down one, down two, and down three, nice. All right, no ammo wasted there. Some cages, kind of creepy, not gonna lie. We can punch that light out. All right, let's pistol. Okay, that little guy's gone, and so is that guy, nice. All right, anything to loot over here? Die. 
All right, the autopsy room with plenty of weird stuff going on. All right, loot these lockers here, some pills and a med kit. All right, we're not gonna use those med kits yet. Um, we should be able to punch our way out of this. Let's go. Yeah, there's a shoot right there too. Okay, let's punch our way out. Okay, zig past them. Okay, woof, okay, punched all those guys out. Let's uh, blow that up. Boom. All right, I think we've explored everything then. Uh, let's, oops, we got this room here. Some more weird cages, yep. All right, so we've explored that entire part of the map. And let's go this way now, past the room we just blowed up, into the caretaker's room, and out of creepy Dracula's house. All right, we don't need to go back there. Let's just run very, very far away and never, 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 ever talk about that again. It was kind of cool thought. They were right. They were right. XL, I wonder if the XL means anything. I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and hop on our train and head to the next station. So we're doing nine, five, nine, seven. And I think we need to get food back to someone. We got five food and two med kits. So hopefully we can make it to the next station. Pop goes the weasel and our train, the Bellis 07, heads to its next stop. Things are getting pretty dicey here, friends. All right, let's get some food. Because she was getting, oh, we lost someone. Um, feed her. Okay, he's doing okay. He's gonna need a health kit and food. So let's get a health kit and then we'll get food for him. Darn, I was wishing that guy would make it. I guess he couldn't quite. All right, heal him up. He needs food. Yep, we're heading to meet the blacksmith. I know. All right, food. I can't see anyone. All right, feed him. How are we doing? You're doing okay. You're going to need health and food soon. You're going to need food, yep. All right, let's feed the apprentice, because the apprentice has to make it. He's the important guy. Feed him. Do we have any more health kits? Okay, health kit. And let's check it out here. Heal him. Uh, something's going red. Let's fix that here. Oh, this one. Okay, start. All right, let's get this one. Perfect. Back out of this here. Um, there we go. All right. My computer decided it was... Uh, dying even though I had everything plugged in I guess I must have knocked out the charging cord a little bit or just enough that it, it freaked out all right so the, what were we talking about back here we had so many opportunities yeah we know so many opportunities to prevent the uh the second coming the second visitation that blacksmith designed our trains and then he went to go work on the guardian leaving these folks here high and dry all right he's doing fine he's probably gonna need another health pack Go grab one if we can, but we're out. Can we craft any? Right, let's craft that one, close that out, grab that, and let's run back and try and heal this fellow up. Um, yeah, I know, heal. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and pull into the station here and be done with it, nice. All right, we lost one person. I guess that's kind of acceptable, but not really. Let's see where we're pulling into here. We had just left the personal station of Dracula. A little creepy, but that's okay. We got our shotgun out. Let's keep on keeping on. All right, open this up here. Uh, we are almost out of water. I'm going to ask the commander if we can have more be back in 20 minutes. All right, nothing up here. Drop back down, can't pick the TV up. Where is the guardian? That moron from the eastern base is not getting it. I filled out a dismissal report for him. Let him return to Metropole. Erase the writing. All right, open this here. Looks like we're at some water tank up here. Okay, punch him out. Punch him out, very nice. No ammo used, that's what we need. Food, pistol, and a med kit. Uh, let's get the little guy here and shoot him. And then we're gonna knock him out. Beautiful. B-E-A, beautiful. Check this door out, two little ones. All right, and there they go. Seven rounds of that left. 
Alright, some shotgun and pistol ammo. Uh, Jeremy, hang in there. I see it tough and very hot in there, but you sh should soldier on for double pension after retirement, Mom. Alright, uh, let's go back down here. Ooh, quite a few explodey guys here. Trigger that one. Reload, let him go kaboom. And we'll trigger this next one. I don't know if I can with the ladder. There we go. Get up and out of there. Reload, another one. Jeez, all right. Shoot him up and away. Boom. All right, any more explodey guys? No, are we all done here? All right. Okay, I can't open that hatch. I'm guessing that's where we'll come out of. A lot of tanks. Can we hop in a tank? That'd be pretty cool. Drive around in one. All right, exploding barrel. Let's go up here. And ooh, can we throw it at these guys? Nice. Double kill with the explosion of the barrel. All right, open this. Uh, the rocket is ready to launch, awaiting the orders. Ooh, is this an assault rifle of sorts? Yep, so we now got our shotgun, an assault rifle. Did we drop the pistol? Uh, looks like we dropped the pistol in exchange for the assault rifle. Okay, interesting. There's that missile. We got some scraps. And I think I just launched it. All right, nice. Um, I don't know what we just blew up, but we blew up something or someone. Hopefully that uh, doesn't mess things up. Our men was right. There are only useless weapons here. Hmm, hello? No, thank you. We don't need a ride to Metropole just yet. Best of luck to you, though. All right, thank you, friends. What can I steal from you? Some pistol ammo. All right, so this rifle looks like it's just a pistol with a larger clip. That's okay. All right, um, let's go this way first. Loot this locker, med kit, food, and some plenty of pistol ammo. Just grab the exploding barrel here. Hopefully no one comes popping out of these doors. Are they gonna come out behind me? No? All right, yes, they are. And that's why we got this assault rifle, is to... Oh, come on, reload, reload. Woo. All right, um, we should be able to punch these guys out. And while we're doing that, let's go ahead and reload. I knew those guys were going to pop out of those doors. Ah, all right, heal up. I knew that was going to happen. I had a sneaky feeling, and I was right. All right, let's keep going here. Uh, another explodey barrel. All right, anytime you want to explode, knocked out those guys. All right, knock out him. And let's, uh, ooh, we got quite a few people to take out. Big guy's gone. All right, let's work on this other big guy. He's gone. Okay, knock off his helmet. All right, come on. Why are you not dying? There we go, Jesus. Okay, um, that took more ammo than it should have. So we got two shotgun rounds. So hopefully we don't have much to deal with. Okay, there is the blocker code. Let's talk to this fellow. I was gonna blow this place up. Okay, yep, you get on the train, friend. Or maybe that guy was supposed to disappear then. All right. So let's head back to the train here. Okay. Well, we shot a missile and might have blew someone up, but that's that's okay. I guess that happens. Um, again, I apologize for the screw up of technology, but I guess that happens from time to time. And I don't know. I don't think I can really restart episodes. It's not that easy on this game as far as I know. So if you know down in the comments below how to restart an episode, let me know. Maybe I'll refilm this. Don't forget to like the video, even though I messed up. And if you really want to get all this <laughs> great, I'm using air quotes right now, content on time in an orderly fashion, go ahead and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you for coming out and watching the final station. We'll see you in the next video.